Windows 11 is coming. What is that going to mean for security? Hey, Jim. Uh, I hear there's a new version of Windows coming. Yeah. Uh, there, about a couple weeks ago, um, something showed up briefly that didn't get a whole lot of attention in Azure. The fact that the next version of Windows is going to be called Windows 11. And it was is due out, I think, in the fall. I, I think it's due out in like September or something like that. I have to double check that. But so anytime that Microsoft decides to introduce a new operating system or a major update to an operating system, one of the things as, you know, as a security guy, as a forensics guy, one of the things I worry about is, okay, what is this going to mean for us? You know, are there going to be new artifacts that we need to look at? You know, are they making significant changes to the operating system that are going to impact us as security practitioners? And so this week I saw a couple of stories and a couple of tweets uh, with folks who got the the insider uh, the, the part of the Windows Insider program, and so they were able to download the the preview uh, of Windows 11, and they started around. And right now, it looks like pretty good news for us. It doesn't look like they're making significant changes to, for example, the artifacts that I tend to use when I'm doing forensic examinations, shimcache stuff and the, you know, prefetch stuff, all of that looks to be very similar to what we've been used to with Windows 10 up to this point. So that's really good news. And for those who are administering systems, you know, and they've, you know, in enterprises you usually have this whole infrastructure built up to you know, using Active Directory to administer new workstations. And it looks like our existing tools, um, they've renamed SCCM, and I don't remember what they call it now, but it looks like that still works. You can, you know, bring up Windows 11 systems and, you know, push out group policy and all of that using the existing tool. So this is all really good news um it, that it doesn't look like there's going to be significant changes from a security perspective now uh, reading various things it looks like there're going to be some interface changes you know they're they're changing the taskbar around and you know the start menu isn't going to be in the lower left hand corner anymore it's going to be more in the middle and okay whatever um those will be annoying to get used to as a user for a little while but but as a security practitioner, the good news right now is it looks like the they haven't made you know these significant serious changes to the underlying stuff that we as security practitioners have come to rely on over the years. And I, I, I take that as really good news because it's always nerve-wracking when you know new versions start popping up, you know new, Windows Server versions, and especially new desktop versions, because those are going to be the ones that will have, you know, thousands or tens of thousands or hundreds of thousands of uh, systems out there running this eventually. Um, so I, I take it as good news that it looks like under the hood, while they're probably going to streamline some stuff and and, you know, change some kernel stuff around, and it may make you know, it may take a little while for the, for example, the malware authors to take advantage of whatever new features the operating system has. But as security practitioners, so far, and again, this is just a preview, things could change between now and whenever Microsoft finally releases it. But so far, it looks like good news for us that they're not, you know, changing the stuff that we've come to rely on in our investigations. I hope that one of the interface changes is uh, the snippy tool. 
that I use for screenshotting can include a feature to like hide certain data <laughs> more easily. Currently, I use a, a, a black highlighter as my way to just strike things out from screenshots. <laughs> that would really improve my workflow. I think it might improve my workflow more than the start button in the middle of the screen. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I second that. I second that. <laughs> Uh, but, you know, it's exciting to see that, uh, you know, there's going to be some upgrades in general um, and that it won't affect much forensically speaking. So that we'd be able to continue understanding um, in the same way how to interpret malware analyses and how to interpret forensic data uh, during our investigations. I think that's that's really key. You know, there's like a whole... I mean, nowadays, you pretty much like almost a PhD in essence, you know, maybe not officially, but uh, everyone who is doing this kind of forensics work, they like really, really at a very high technical level have to know how everything works. And if there's major changes, it's like you got to get a new master's degree you know? you got, uh, or a new PhD. And um, it's good to see that. Um, uh, we'll still be able to retain a lot of that knowledge. Although, to be honest, the knowledge probably never really goes away because even with the reverse uh, compatible systems or things that are backwards compatible, sorry, backwards compatible systems, there's always something in there for us and for the bad guys <laughs> that they can always rely on. Yeah, well, the fact that Microsoft wants you to still be able to run programs that were written for windows you know 3.11 you know means that you know the malware authors will still be able to run old stuff we'll still have to look for some of the old stuff but but yeah so with this new version coming out and I, now i personally have not i'm not part of the insiders program so i haven't downloaded you know an image yet to play with it myself but i know a couple of people who have and so I'm looking forward to sometime in the next couple of months getting a a chance to look at it ahead of the official release just to get a little more comfortable. Uh, that is always a concern with new versions is, is the new version going to show up before we've had a chance to play with it and get comfortable with it? But so far, so good. Yeah, I think Mac fans will be happy with Windows 11 because the Mac dock by default is in the center at the bottom. Um, I did read, though, that you can change that back to uh, left corner. So if you if it bothers you that much, Jim, you can always just reset it back to the original bottom left corner. You know, it's funny. I, I, uh, I read an article. I looked it up uh, from 2015, and uh, the title of it, and you'll get a kick, it says, Why Microsoft is Calling Windows 10 the Last Version of Windows. Uh, and yet here we are. I don't know. I think it's a welcome change. I think it looks cool. I like the rounded corners. Um, but like you, Jim, I'm really interested to see what security features are going to be implemented. Um, unfortunately, I'm willing to bet that a lot of the Windows binaries that have all these nice little alternative functions uh, that let hackers do all these little little things um, it's probably going to still be there. But um, I'll, we'll check them out. <laughs> I think it's a good idea to get our hands on it before it goes live and, you know, before it goes everywhere. Yeah, and that's one of the reasons why I wanted to to bring this up and let our users know, or our viewers know that, you know, there is going to be a new version. I mean, for the last few years, last four or five years, you know, Microsoft has been doing this feature upgrades, what they used to call service packs way back when, uh, about every six months. And um, so there, you know, Windows 10 back in 2017, there are some significant differences here in 2021. In, um, but, you know, the fact that there is going to be a new version, they are going to, as, as you said, it, probably because it's starting to feel like, you know, it's been around for a while. And so they feel the need to do some UI updates, some user interface tweaks. But um, yeah, the the new version is coming. And so we all need to be aware that this is going to be happening. 
uh, and preparing for its eventual arrival.